Hello everyone, this is Kai Kida from IMVU here to give you a tutorial on how to make uh, clothes. So today I'm going to be teaching you about opacity maps and texture maps. Op uh, opacity maps are what show, hide, or make transparent your clothes, and texture maps are what gives your clothes a texture. So for instance, with the skirt layer under materials, it's fully visible now, but if I add a black opacity, it'll go completely away. So here's your example. If I can see. With the black opacity applied, the skirt disappears and you just have a full body suit. This idea can be applied to any part of the mesh. I can make the entire body suit disappear so that the avatar appears to be naked. That's how you make um, nude suits on IMVU. I can make it transparent so that it looks like she has on a full transparent suit. Or whatever. The possibilities are endless. endless. Once you understand how to make, how to handle the opacity map, you can pretty much make anything you want. To get rid of any changes you've made to your opacity map, you can simply delete it. Delete. Choose delete and apply your changes. And there you go. Skirt reappears. So applying this in action. Here's the original texture map. Um, I always do the opacity first. The opacity is going to outline everything and basically you want the opacity map to be really neat. Once the opacity map is neat, you can be as sloppy as you want with your texture map because it's all going to fall into place. Rather than talking, I'm going to show you. A new layer. You can make your opacity. White opacity means it's fully visible, black opacity means it's invisible, and you're going to see that in a sec. Gray opacity means it's somewhat see-through, somewhat visible. If you're having trouble lining up stuff to make a, a neat or um, a complete opacity, only work on one side, and when you're done, just flip it. So, I'll show you that in a second as well. And as I say, you should always be really super neat, but um, this is just an example, so I'm not being as neat as I can. But if you want to have high quality clothes on IMVU, you need to have um, neat cuts, and that is all about your opacity layer. Okay. Um, let's see, I want to one part of it to be somewhat see-through. Uh, with the gray, the lighter the gray, the more visible the area is going to be. The darker the gray, the more invisible the area is going to be. And I'm going to show you that in just a second. Okay. So if you're happy with whatever style you've created with your opacity map, you can just duplicate that if you get it on one side and flip it. And you'll have both sides done. They'll line up perfectly and you'll see that in a sec. Now, before you go and apply this to your avatar, you wanna um, you wanna make sure that nothing's gonna show. And just as an example of that, I'm gonna show you what happens if you don't use um, a black texture for your opacity map to hide everything else. So, here we go. Okay. I'm gonna go to the body suit layer. That's the layer we're working with on the opacity map side. Mm -hmm. This is what happens when you don't put um, black on. Now you see the area that we outlined in white is fully visible. The area we outlined in gray is somewhat visible. But the mess is still there because it's black and white, which means it's visible and non-visible. To get rid of that, you don't have to be tedious and outline the whole thing. Simply um, make a new layer, fill it with your background or foreground layer, whichever one has all black in it. Save it. Now we're going to see what it looks like with that one. And there you have it. So, from this map, oops, wrong one, that's the skirt map. This map, white, fully visible, white, fully visible, gray, partially visible, gray, partially visible. 
and everything in black is invisible, giving her the halter top. Now, if your texture is super neat, mine is not, so it looks kind of like that. Um, you can go ahead and apply any texture you want to it. So let's say that I just wanted, um, I just wanted this to be all black or something. Uh, you're gonna want to be delicate with your texture map as well, such as getting patterns to line up. But if you're just generally doing a white dress, it doesn't have to be that or ugly example. And that's basically how you do an opacity map, texture map, very simple.